Well, I'm Chef Diane DeMeo, and today's bootleg tip is how to pick out a knife that works for you. Now, you can see I have a huge array of knives, and these, yes, are all mine, and I work with all of these. But that doesn't mean that you have to go out and spend thousands of dollars on super fancy knives. What it means is you need to pick out a knife that works the best for you. Now, how do you do that? The key is the weight and how it feels in your hand. You want to feel, though, that you've got complete control over your knife so that whether you're slicing, dicing, julienning, making a chiffonade, that you're doing it with a knife that works well and feels comfortable in your hand. And how do you hold a knife to know whether it's comfortable for you? Basically, for me, is you hold it, you grip it. Notice that I have my fingers here and my two fingers, my thumb and my second finger gripping here. This gives me total control so that when I'm cutting a product, I am in control of my knife. Even though I have thousands of knives, not really, whatever you see here is what I really have, you only need and we only use probably three every time that we cook in the kitchen. For me, what I always like is my boning knife. Notice how it's very flexible with the tip. It gets and fillets fish up against the bone. Sometimes if I want to cut chicken and I'm intricate and I go down, I use this knife. That's one of the knives I use. The second knife I always use is a paring knife. Why? Because I can pair apples, vegetables, whatever I need if I can't find a peeler and also it's very quick for me. And also if I want to do smaller intricate pieces, I will use my paring knife. And the third knife that I will always use is this. This is also used as a chef's knife, but the way that it's cut is very aerodynamic. It has a different nose. It allows me to rock everything smoothly back and forth. So these are the three knives that I use all the time. Additionally, sometimes I'll use a serrated knife. Why? Cut bread, certain cuts of meat, it comes in handy. And sometimes I will use a utility knife, which is often a little bit thinner than this one. Those are the knives that I use, regardless of how many knives I own. So what is important? The weight of the knife, how it feels in your hand when you're holding it properly, and price. Price point is always very important. And the last thing I want to impress on you is that a sharp knife always hurts less than a dull knife when you cut yourself and you are in control of your knife. Always respect your knife. And I will see you next week with another bootleg tip. Hello, I'm Chef Diane DeMeo and welcome to my kitchen. Now today we are going to make dumplings.